Who do you think's after you? I don't know. At first, I thought it was Interpol, NPS, CIA, who the fuck ever. Maybe it's a client. Someone pissed off. He's putting together a whole new identity for you. This time tomorrow, we'll have you on a jet to Guinea Bissau. Oh, fuck. If it's who I suspect, I'm going to be in hiding forever. Thanks, Mike. You're a dead man. Uh, not likely. Have a seat. You're such a fucking idiot, Mike. George doesn't even know anything. But Alexei Petrov does. You know who I am? Got no idea. Well, I bet you can guess who I work for. We just flipped Alexei. He was facing charges of terrorism and treason. So instead of facing a bullet or a work camp, he decided to come to us. And he gave us a list of every single name he's been working with, starting with yours. I mean, selling uranium? It's gonna get you fucked in just about any country. I don't know Alexei Petrov best what I read in the papers. Uranium. You have no fucking proof. Bon, I don't think you understand your situation fully. I don't need proof. Do you think that friend of yours, the chief of police, do you think he's going to be interested in the fact that you've been openly supporting terrorism? The fuck are you talking about? You didn't tell him? The account that you transferred that money into? It's not an Asia account. It's an account linked to ISIS funding, and it's on every single country's watch list, including Hungary. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch! LeBron, you only have one bargaining chip. Give us the location of the delivery. Fuck you. Listen to me. Everything you've ever known before today is over. But you have one way out. Russia! Tell me my trust was a misplaced, Jack. The uranium's on its way to Russia. A place called Metoxa. Jesus. If this is actionable... It is. Levon Zubkov can confirm the delivery. In fact, he and his associate have agreed to be assets. How? Uh, let's just say Levon got spooked. Come see for yourself. They're with me here in Budapest. But listen, right. Whatever happens next, I need to be a part of it. You don't have the luxury of asking for favors anymore. Let me be clear with you. You're not worth my career or my peace of mind. Without us, you'd have absolutely nothing to go on. I'm just asking you to do the right thing. All right, Jack. But I'm going to ask the same thing of you. 